Tak jeden pojďte. Ne. <laughs> David Hoffman here from davidsbeenhere.com. I'm back with my friend Mateos from Americando. And this video is gonna be about Brazilian slang words. We're gonna do 10 Brazilian slang words. He's gonna say the word and then he's gonna explain what that means. Yeah, because like some of these words that I picked and they're like very common and a lot of people use it and like everybody uses it and you'll hear it. If you go to Brazil, you'll hear it for sure. But like sometimes there aren't a literal translation. I can't pick a word and say, yeah, that means this. So or a sentence or anything. So I'll try to explain it as much as I can and as well as I can. First one uh, that I picked for us today in this video is vacilo. And vacilo is like when you mess up. So like your friend um, had scheduled to go somewhere with you and then you're there, you're waiting on him, he doesn't show up, he vacilo. Like your friend vacilo. He, he let you down, he didn't show up, he didn't come through, you know? You'll hear that for sure. Like especially if you're Younger, like, you hear that. You hear that. Mm -hmm. The second one is Zoar. Z O A R. Can you say it? Zoar. Zoar or Zueira. Zueira. Yeah. So Zueira is like uh, a joke. Like, kidding. Someone can be very Zoeiro. It's like, it's not really a word, but like. Uh, he's a joker. He's a joker. joker. Yeah, he likes to prank people. He's, yeah. You can never tell if he's serious or not, you know? So you can use it like Zoar as like. The verb, for example, uh, or zoeiro is someone that's always kidding, always joking. David sometimes is a zoeiro. <laughs> he likes to, you know, have a good laugh. So yeah, zoar or zoeiro, very used slang in Brazil. Você é zoeiro. Você é zoeiro. That's good. Uh, the next the next slang that I have for you guys today is dar um rolê. Dar um rolê is to like go uh, out or go do something. Uh, Get a group of people together, just go hang out, go to the store, whatever, go uh, to a bar, get a drink, hang out. Dar un jole. Dar un jole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like go for go for a walk, go for a ride. Go for drinks. Go for a drink. Anything like that, yeah. Dar un is like go for and then jole is like the slang. Where are you guys going today? Ah, just dar un jole. Just going out, you know? Number four is bagulho. 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 I'm not sure if this one is like all across Brazil, but uh, like Sao Paulo, Rio, like everybody will know what that is. And it's just a thing. Anything can be a bagulho. Anything. Like a glasses, bagulho. A hat, a bagulho. Hey, give me that bagulho. Can you hand me that bagulho? And literally anything. So it's just anything. It's, it's, it's like, well, not like a house or a car, but like an object. An object. Or like it can be passed around, like a hat or a wallet or a phone. Like, Oh, can you get me that bagulho, you know? Like, get me that thing, pass me that. Um, so more of like a handy object that can be passed around or handed to or held in your hand is usually a bagulho. Me da un bagulho. Si. Eso. David is so good. <laughs> Obrigado. <laughs> so number five is queimou meu filme. Queimou meu filme. Queimou meu filme. And I think the literal like translation would be like, you ruined my film. Okay. So like, you know, back in the day, you had like film or whatever, like photography film. So you ruined my film. It's when like somebody ruins your image. Sometimes if you rely on someone to do something and they're like representing you and they do bad, oh, you came home with you. Like you, you messed up, bro, you know? You messed up my image or whatever. Right. Somebody talks crap behind your back. They ruined your film. Sorry, came o, came o, me o filme. Came o, me o filme. Yeah. Me o filme. Meu is like mine. So if you're saying like, oh, somebody was talking crap about you, you say, queimou o seu filme. Queimou o seu filme. Isso. So, so, so is you. Talking about someone else, talking about yourself, meu. Meu. Seu, meu. Number six, the slang number six is mina. Mina. Yeah, can you know what that is? Can you no. guess? For me, it's like something of mine. I don't know. No, no, no. Mina is uh, a girl, like, made kind of menina. Okay. But yeah, just mi mina. You usually don't call a girl that. But like if you're referring her, like if you're like dudes kind of talking about girls, it's not a bad thing, it's not a bad thing. You say, oh, uh, that mina, or a calamina. A calamina. Yeah. Is manu. The next one, number seven, manu. So it's that guy? That guy, yes. Okay. Or dude, you know? Okay. What's up, dude? Like, yay manu. Beleza. Yay manu. Beleza. Mm hmm. 
Eu, eu, mano, eu falo um pouquinho no português. É, ele deita, ele deita, ele fala bem sim. <risos> e aí, mano? So, Mina and Mano. Mina and Mano. Girl or guy or dude or chick. Perfect. Blank number eight is da hora. Da hora, you hear it all the time. All the time, especially in Sao Paulo, so where I'm from. It's used so much. And the little translation, I think, is it's time or it's off the time, but it has nothing to do with that. Like the word itself, you know, that hora is like it's time or it's off yeah, that's that what time. I right. But it means like cool, awesome. Like, oh, that's da hora. Like this shirt, da that's da hora, man. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I like that My one. My hat is da hora. Da this hora. channel is da hora. <laughs> yes. Da hora. David is da hora. <laughs> So, yeah. da hora, it's two separate words, da hora, but in Sao Paulo, anything da hora. Da hora. Oh, da hora, da hora. What do you think about this? Da hora. Da hora, cool. Yeah? yeah da it's, hora. It's chill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Slang number nine is paga pau. Paga pau. Paga pau. And if you translate it literally, it's, it means to pay wood. I don't know, pay wood. Paga pau. So, pau is wood. Paga, paga. Yeah, pau is like a stick. Okay. Yeah, pay stick. Of like a piece of wood, and nothing to do with that, but it's a suck up. Like if somebody thinks you're super cool, he's a paga pau. He's a suck up. Like, like he loves something or someone so much, like talks about that guy all the time. He's a paga pau. This is paga pau. Mm -hmm. Like this paga pau. Esse paga pau. Esse paga pau. Mm -hmm. Or ele é um paga pau. Ele é um paga pau. Mm -hmm. Ele é um paga pau. No. <laughs> <laughs> <For David, maybe. laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> so the last one is kind of goes a little bit with Davis's uh, channel and is buzão, which means bus. Buzão. Buzão. Yeah. And it's just a different cool way of saying bus. So like if you're, I don't know, traveling Brazil somewhere, hey, onde eu pego o buzão? Where can I get the bus? And they're like, oh, he knows this stuff. You know, they won't treat you as a tourist. Like give you wrong information or anything. Oh, well, he knows his stuff. He's kind of from here. Buzão. Use that. Buzão. Yeah. And what's the real word for bus? Onibus. Onibus. Yeah. Okay. So buzão is like. That's really a Big bus. Type type of thing. Anything you put on in the end, like my name is Mateus. If you say Mateus on, Mateus zão, it's like big Mateus. Big Mateus. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you like this video, Mateus. Americando, subscribe to his channel. Leave it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Before you leave. And then subscribe. Subscribe. And also, if you have any other slang, Portuguese, Brazilian words, please leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. I'm down there in the comments. Go check it out. I already wrote something down. Hey. Thank you so much. No problem. No problem.